Hey guys, it's Tamir from Microvellum. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to draw a back wall of a kitchen along with an island unit. So in here under our um, project setup in this project that I've already created, we can enter in all our job information. Start date, finish date, um, all the addresses etc can be entered in here. So on our project wizard here, this is where we can adjust all of our pricing. So we can simply come in here and choose our material range. Same here with our bench tops and handles and markups, etc. All in here. Next, over here on our global variables, if we come in here, we can adjust all of our cabinet sizes. So simply adjusting all of these in here. Draw types. So we're shipping here with a full draw library. Many different draw systems. All ready to go. Project variables. So this is an area where we can enter in and adjust all of our hardware, all of our cut parts, edge banding, etc. Simply by choosing any of these from the library and just sending them over to these pointers. So what we're going to do is just hit save, save and close. And we're going to go ahead and add in a new room to this project. And we're going to open up that new room. Right now that it's done that guys, we're going to come to our draw menu. So I think of this as the place that you need to go to when you want to draw anything. So under our room components here, I'm going to right click and pick points to draw a wall. So if we go 700 this way, then off to the right 5 meters. We've got an L shaped back wall here. So what we're going to do now is come to our draw products. So this is where our library items live. So we're shipping here of over 300 different parametric units. Okay, so many different categories that we can pick and choose from here. So if we start with a tall cabinet here, currently I'm looking at a picture view here, but I could change that to a list view. So we're going to select our two-door pantry, and I'm just going to right-click, and we're just going to place that here on the left-hand side of this wall. So if I go ahead and snap to that point, it would put that in hard into that corner. If I key in 16mm and hit Enter, it's going to allow enough for my filler here. So if I come in here and go add a filler, and say I want a filler on the left hand side here, I've got different filler styles in here that I can choose from, and my filler width here, and many different options under the different tabs that we can choose from. But for now we're just going to go ahead and hit OK, and we're going to draw this two door pantry into this um, project here. So holding down shift in my middle wheel on my mouse, I can move and pan and zoom, see exactly what's going on, all my machining and cutouts etc. So you know exactly what's going on here. In a plan view, I'm just going to come under my pencil here, just get a circle. So let's say you go to site and there's a column in the corner or something we need to cut around with. So I can come into my um, product prompts again and go to my construction options and here I can come in and do a left notch and I can come in and enter my width and my depth. So I could say let's make that 180 and that can actually be 182. I could actually double click and reference um, the information in the drawing to, to get that size if I didn't know what it was. So here we go, that's gone ahead and notched that unit. Now this is all fully ready um, to send directly to the CNC. What we're going to look at doing now guys is just coming to our 2D drawings here and right down the bottom I've got a button here, Draw Dynamic Product Image. So I'm just going to click this button and then on the unit and then sort of just position my drawing somewhere over here out of the way. So what that's going to do is it's going to draw us a, a 2D uh, drawing of that unit complete with basic dimensioning. Um, it's going to be dynamic so it's going to show any cutouts or any machining um, that was done or applied to this unit uh, very quickly. So I can either draw it down on the drawing here or have all that information uh, pull through onto reports. Okay, so it looks like that's finished here. So if I just scroll over, I can see exactly what's going on here. So you've got your exploded uh, call out here, all of your sections and plans here. So what I'm able to do is come directly to, um, let me see, a plan view in 3D, I guess that will do, or 2D, it doesn't really matter. So we can very quickly and easily have that on a title block um, ready to print out and present to your customers. What we're going to look at now is just quickly placing in a few extra cupboards here. So 
under our tool cabinets here if we come and get a fridge cupboard and this time I'm going to place uh, next to another product so we select our uh, pantry unit here I'm going to go to the right side and I want one of these units here so what we're going to do we've got a different set of options here I could come in and turn our lift up system on choose my list, lift up system here that we want possibly come in and turn off our adjustable shelf if we need to and go ahead and hit OK what we're going to have a look at next is just coming into our, our draw cabinets over here so if we get our three draw base I'm just going to right click and place next to another product so just next to our fridge cupboard here on the right side and this time we want three of these what we're going to do is make this um, draw unit 900 wide I'm going to turn on our shadow line finger pull with the click of the button here and I've got a whole lot of different options and here we can very quickly and easily add more options into these and we're going to go ahead and turn off our uh, second shadow line there from the top what we're going to do now is just right click into here and I can come in and set my top draw front height to be 170 and we're going to go ahead and calculate the difference here and that's going to work out all our gaps and spacings and adjust the drawers fitting in there um, as part of that so over here on our draw variables, as I mentioned we've got all our uh, draw systems and the systems coming preloaded as you see it here. Uh, inner drawers can be added in with the click of the button. So while that's uh, drawing these three draw bases in, you'll notice in here that we are automatically putting in a draw stabilizer. Once it gets to a certain size, that's just a little plastic L bracket which is going underneath the draw bottom there. Coming down here to our upper cabinets now, we're just going to scroll down and find a double lift up. And here we're going to come in and put that on the right side. Again, choosing three as a quantity. And what we're going to do is come to our specification group in here and just change that to wood grain. And that's automatically going to go ahead and change um, our materials and our rendering materials in this case for our lift up doors. What we're going to do now is just come into a southwest view here. I'm going to zoom into this middle uh, three draw base cupboard. Now, what I want to do is come into our sub assembly prompts in here and just click on this drawer. And what I'm going to do is come into our rear cutout here. And here I've got all my different options for my draw heights. And here my runner lengths, uh, colors, etc. But what I want to do here in this case is go to our cutout options and make that 300mm. I can adjust the distance to the center, cutout depth, etc. Under our save options here, and come down and save it just to that sub assembly that I selected to the whole product or to the whole project. Just for now we're just going to do it to that top drawer and just go ahead and what you're going to see now is a full cutout in that top drawer which is machine ready. What we're going to do next guys is just going to zoom out a little bit here so if we come back to our draw menu and I'm just going to go this time to our product groups. So what we're going to do here is right click and we're just going to go add product group to project. I'm just going to sort of left click somewhere over here and I'm just going to give that a rotation um, of 180 degrees. So what this um, feature in the software does, it allows us to group multiple products together into one entity so we can drop these into the libraries together. So in this case here, what we're doing is we're dropping in um, an island unit complete with a four drawer, a three drawer unit, a bar back, um, an island a bench top with waterfall ends, a bin unit, um, we're going to be putting in a dishwasher and a sink cupboard. So now that this is finished, you can just see how quick and easy it is to sort of get in um, quick configurations, uh, just at a sort of design or consult stage here. So what I can do, I'm going to come over here to our um, camera here, and we're just going to click on our realistic view. So what this is going to do, it's going to put um, the drawing into realistic view mode. So what you can see over here is you can see the upper cupboards here, have a wood grain applied to them because we put them on the wood grain uh, spec group uh, while everything else in the drawing is just our default melamine color here so you can see in here we've got all our shadow line finger pulls um, complete with the uh, second shadow line turned off as we'd 
requested in the product prompts here. So looking at our island unit here, same sort of configuration here um, for our Shadowline Thinkerpool uh, detail. What we're going to do now is just come into a wireframe view and we're just going to come to a plan view here. So what we're going to end up doing is creating some uh, 2D line drawings here of this back wall. Um, and we're going to end up putting these here on this um, 2D elevation tab. So what we need to do here is just type in the command view base into our command line and just choose model space. We just window over what we want to um, produce for drawings for and hit enter. So what we're just going to do is hit enter again just to confirm what viewport we're putting this on. And what's going to pop up first is just a uh, front elevation here. So I can place this wherever I want. I'm going to place that here. I'm going to come down to our scale here. And for A4, I'm going to set that at 1 to 40. And what I'm going to do is come down to hidden lines here and set um, Vista visible lines and hit exit. So now here, if I pull this down, this is going to give me a plan view. If I come down to this bottom right corner, it's going to give me a 3D isometric. I'm just going to hit um, enter to lock all of that in. So now that this has been done, it's gone and created a line drawing there for us. So if I click on this viewport here, I can come down here and I can go create section. So if I choose where I want to start my section from, so we can start it from here, end it there, and just hit enter. So that's just going to create that for us, and then we can just drag that wherever we want. So in this case here, I'm just going to drag that over to the right, and I'm just going to go and hit exit out of here. So it's just going to take one second, and it's going to hatch all of that for us. So now in here, with um, my viewport selected, I can come into here, and I can go detail. And let's say I want to zoom into here and do a detail off that shadow line finger pool. And now I just simply come over here, choose where I want to put that detail. And again, I can come into the scale, make that 1 to 20. And I can go ahead and hit exit. Okay, so I've got that detail there. I can come in, position this. Come in and get this um, label down and pull that down a little bit. What we're able to do here is also do the same thing, um, but in this uh, 3D isometric view here. So just selecting this here. I'm going to go and go to detail and let's say I want to zoom into this corner here and do a similar sort of detail. So I could move this down and set our scale here. Okay, so it's now 1 to 30. I can go ahead and hit exit and I can, again, just like before, move and position this wherever I need to. So you can see very quickly we're able to get a very good uh, looking plan set. What we're going to do now is just come back to our model here and we're just going to come into a southwest isometric view and what we want to go through now is just how we can process out let's say these one two three units out to the cnc so at the screen here we can batch process multiple jobs or units uh, out of the cnc all together um, just to save whiteboard and get better usage and material usage there now that that's finished, what we're going to do is hit yes to open up the new work order. So in the processing station here, I can see all of my parts. So I can come into here and sort of filter by um, any one of these categories up here. Here is my uh, default nesting station. So if I come in and just select all the parts and assign that station to my parts, you'll notice I've got X's next to the stations that are assigned to the part. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit process. And what we're doing now is writing that G-code files. So this is creating all your machine information and sending it directly to your CNC. Now that that's complete, what we're going to do is come up into general. And we can look at all of our reports here. So we could look at our optimization report and see exactly what's going on here. So you notice we've got all our leg holes, all our rebates for our leg box, cut out for the draw that we did. All of our shadow line finger pull cutouts, runner holes, etc. So these are all our nesting optimizations. We could have a look at our product detail 2 report. So this is a report for your factory staff, if you'd like. Um, so you've got your unit information up here, hardware, parts, part sizes, materials, edge banding, 
but down below you've got that automatic um, drawing of each unit so you'll notice that one here with that notch so it clearly shows um, your factory staff members exactly what's going on so we've got our work order summary this is going to show you what you need to order in here so you can see exactly what we need to order here's all our color board edge tape hardware etc all those three units and even the material costings here if you wanted to do a quick back cost and had gone through and sort of put your accurate costs in against the materials thank you for watching